Hello, today I'm going to be talking about some 3D printable files that I've made for the electric eel wheel 6, which make a lace weight flyer. So basically it lets you run the flyer at a higher speed. So for lace weight, where you often have to add a lot of twist, it lets you make that lace weight a lot quicker. So the different parts are a new pulley. This allows it to spin faster. Uh, this is a little spacer. This holds the uh, firearm so they don't uh, uh, expand and bump into the case when you're going at higher speeds. And then these parts are for a new type of bobbin. And then this is sort of a, a spacer or expander for the center tube that allows it to have less of a change in uh, tension required from when you start the bobbin to when you end the bobbin. So now I'm going to show you how to install the different parts onto the electric eel wheel 6. The first thing you do is take off the metal pulley. You use the included hex wrench to do that. I've already taken it off. And then you put the new one on like this and it's going to be a nice snug fit. Remember you want to leave about a two millimeter gap between the edge of the pulley and the edge of the motor. And then you'll tighten it with the hex wrench. Now, the reason for this pulley is you can see that this pulley is quite a bit bigger than the metal one here. So um, that allows the flyer to spin faster. Specifically, it allows the flyer to go at 2100 RPMs instead of 1800 RPMs. So that's a, a nice speed boost. And the reason you want to go faster for lace weight yarn is you're adding a lot of twist. And to add a lot of twist, it goes faster if you spin the flyer faster. Now, a lot of people don't need extra speed. And if you don't need the extra speed, I would just leave this metal pulley on and not uh, go to the extra hassle of, of putting this larger one on. But if you want to go faster, uh, a nice uh, option is putting on this larger pulley. And I'll talk about another way to make it go even faster at the end of the video. But uh, let's start here. This is sort of the easier option. The next thing is we're going to assemble the actual flyer. So the way I do that is I take the little spacer and I put that on to the flyer. Then there's this little portion that sort of holds the flyer arms. So if you look at the existing flyer arms, when you're spinning it, one of the reasons I limited the speed is because if you spin too much fast, the flyer arms actually expand outwards like this and uh, they can actually bump into the case here. So to prevent that, I created this little gadget here and this slides on to the flyer like this and that's going to make it much harder for these arms to spread out. Um, makes them much stiffer, which is really uh, pretty important when going at higher speeds. Um, you'll also notice that there's that little bushing here. You definitely need it to be facing outward. So you've got a spacer here and then a little lip on this portion of the uh, arm holder here. And then after you've done that, we're just going to assemble the bobbin. So you're going to need some bearings. I'll have some uh, links to where you can get extras in the show notes, but you can also take them out of your electric eel wheel six bobbins. It's the uh, uh, same bearings that I use there. And you put one in here, then you start tightening that. Then you take a second bearing and you put it into this disc and this is the, I call it the tube expander. So uh, basically it goes on there like this. And what that does is it uh, makes the difference between the inner diameter and the outer diameter of the bobbin more similar. And that lets you worry less about, or you'll have less changes to your tension as you're filling up the bobbin. So the thing that causes changes in your tension as you're filling it up is that this diameter is smaller than this diameter. So this just kind of evens that out a bunch. If you don't want to deal with it, you can totally use this without this piece. I made this piece optional, but I do feel like you should at least try it out. If you're trying to make a lot of lace weight yarn, it kind of makes the tensioning system a little bit easier. And then you just screw this nice and tight and you've assembled the bobbin. So with all of the parts assembled, you just put the bobbin onto the flyer like this, and you'll notice the lip and the uh, little groove there is facing outwards. Put on another bearing, just like you would the normal flyer. You install it like that. Then you take the drive belt, 
and put it into the correct pulling and groove on the flyer. You install the uh, tension string. You might want to go with a finer tension string if you're really trying to do lace weight yarn to get a little bit lighter tensions. So the last thing to do is put on the sliding hooks. I like to make sure that I get the O-rings uh, put on first. It just sort of makes the alignment a little bit easier. And uh, also make sure that when you're spinning at higher speeds like this, you definitely want to have the hooks directly across from each other. Uh, that just improves the uh, uh, balance. Also, you need to make sure that you'll notice I have one hook facing downward and then this next one's going to be facing upward. That is also important uh, to make sure you get the balance just right. Because when you're going at high speeds, um, just a little bit of off balance will uh, introduce quite a bit of vibration. So sometimes I'll spin without these caps, especially um, at the highest speeds, which I'm going to talk about how to do in just a little bit. In fact, I'll just leave them off for now. Um, but you can spin with or without them. It's, it's sort of up to you. And that's all there is to it. So make sure the hooks are pretty close to directly across from each other. And then it just works like the regular spinning wheel. As I mentioned before, uh, the point of this portion is to make sure that this can't, these arms don't flex out and that allows you to go to uh, much higher speeds. So one way to make this even faster than 2100 RPMs is you can increase the voltage. So the power jack is a standard 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter barrel jack and you could get this in, you know, a lot of different voltages. Uh, certainly uh, I did some experimenting with 16 volts and everything seemed to hold up. Now I'm not going to warranty the motor, but my motors aren't that expensive. So if you're really into spinning fast and looking for a way to do a nice, you know, high twist lace weight yarn a bit faster and you're willing to risk your motor, you can try uh, a power supply with uh, more voltage and it held up fine for a few hours in my testing, but I just haven't tested it enough to, to sort of warranty that kind of usage. So if you're willing to, uh, you know, do some experimentation and you want to try out a uh, higher voltage, I'll mention that, you know, it seems to work in my limited testing, but again, there's no warranty for that. Anyways, I hope this is useful and, uh, you know, try out this new, bobbin and flyer even if you don't care about the speed you know then you can just leave the metal pulley on and go at the existing speed and it just kind of makes lace weight yarn a little bit easier and uh, nicer to spin with so i hope you all found this useful thanks for watching